Hi, welcome to HyperPaint's exclusive DIY video demonstration. My name is Natalie and today I will be showing you how to get rid of or prevent mold on ceilings. The products you are going to use are gloves, 50ml brush, a propyl roller, mutton cloth, turpentine, some sandpaper, Dulux Universal Undercoat, Dulux Water-Based Pour Glow, a mixing stick, some jig, water and a tray. The reason why mold appears on your ceiling is due to the lack of ventilation. It is important to follow the steps of preparation in preventing the mold from returning. Don't forget to put your gloves on as we will be working with jig and paint which is harmful to your skin. Step 1. We're going to apply the jig to mutton cloth so we can wash off the mold and we're going to wash it down properly so that we can leave it to settle for at least an hour to kill the mold. Step 2. Once the jig has soaked into the mold, we wash it thoroughly down with water. Step 3. Once the ceiling has dried nicely, we must give it a nice light sanding just to get all the excess mold off. Step 4. After the sanding, we want to make sure all the dust has been removed. Step 5. Now we're going to take the universal undercoat and stir it with a mixing stick. If you don't have a mixing stick, you can use a flat piece of wood or a steel rod. Otherwise, you can purchase a mixing stick from Hyper Paint. While stirring the paint, you must bring the body of the paint up and not just turning it around. Now we're going to apply a thin layer of undercoat, but before we do, we're going to lay down the drop sheet. Now that we've laid the drop sheet, we can start painting. The reason why we put the universal undercoat is also a protection layer for the moisture and mold as well to prevent it. We're going to be using a propyl roller which has less hair than a normal roller does. Remember to only give a thin coat of universal undercoat. For the corners to touch up, you'll use a 50ml or 38ml brush. And to clean up from the universal undercoat, you would need turpentine. Step 7. Once we have finished applying the universal undercoat, we're going to leave it to dry for at least 18 hours. Step 8. Once the universal undercoat has dried nicely, we will be applying the first of two coats of the water-based pearl glow, remembering to also stir that correctly as well. Remember, just a nice thin coat as you will be applying two coats of your pearl glow, not forgetting to do your sides as well and leaving this to dry for at least six to eight hours between coats. Step nine, you will apply a second coat of the water-based pour glow, as it's always better to give two coats as it leaves you with a smoother finish. And there you have it, DIY steps for removing mold. Thank you for subscribing to today's DIY demonstration. We hope you enjoyed it. Please be on the lookout for our next DIY for new tips and tricks. And if there are any questions regarding today's DIY, please do not hesitate to contact us.